Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus, and uh, it's always a blessing to be with you today. As followers of Jesus Christ, have you ever feared what people may think, what they may say, or even what they may do because you follow Jesus? You see, when we fear others, it shows that we are living for their approval, and it determines how we live and what we do as Christians, and it hinders us from real change in our own lives. Maybe that fear has held you back from telling people that you go to church and follow Jesus. Well, I want to encourage you today and remind you that in order to stop fearing others, we need to fear God. Listen to what it says in Luke chapter 12, starting at verse 4. It says this, I tell you, friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that have nothing more that they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he is killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Now, this is not a terrorizing fear. This is not a frightening fear, but it's a healthy fear of God, a deep reverence and respect for our Father in heaven who loves you and I unconditionally, who instills value and worth in us and gives us security knowing that our eternal souls are in His hands, knowing that heaven is our home. You know, He also gives us our identity he calls us sons and daughters and cares for every single detail of our lives. You know, knowing that and knowing how much that God loves you and I, it will determine how we live and what we do for Jesus. No longer fearing what others may say, no longer fearing what others may think, and no longer living for their approval as we live for Jesus. Because our security is no longer in man, but in God. And we know if God is for us, well, then who can be against us? And can I just tell you that your family, your friends, and your coworkers, they're looking for real change. They really are. They're looking to see if this Jesus thing in your life is real. But if you're afraid to tell them that you follow Jesus, well, then they'll never get to see how he's changing your life. Because real change only happens when we stop fearing man and start fearing God. God bless you.